Jerry was a race car driver. <laughs> he driving so so fast. Yeah. So it's been a few days since the last time I believe I played this. Been doing Portal 2 again, quote unquote speed run things. But um Yeah. So Ten Penny Tower. I guess I just kinda of found this when I was walking around. Uh, let me see. I don't really remember what happened last time. Oh I have the Megaton house. On the Mirelurks. That was a fun time. Uh, but Oh yeah, that's right. Test like uh did I do test the the stick or whatever? I don't know. Here you go. Like the uh mole rat <laughs> stick. Turn to Moira. Let's see. Okay, Robco facility. I forget, did <laughs> Okay, I did already go here. Items. What is the reason that I did not do the other thing? Oh, that's right. I didn't have the uh, the skill. I didn't have the science skill to like hack the the terminal and take him over. So stats, skills. What is my science? It's at thirty. So I might actually need a higher science skill to really do that. Anyway. Um, yeah, that or eat Mentats, but I don't know how much Mentats actually affect that. Five. Perception five and intelligence plus five. What is my stat anyway? So like, <laughs> technically 11 if I take that for uh intelligence and <laughs> for perception i would have like 13 so yeah i'm just gonna oh, wait Hi -ho! okay i already asked these questions last time i was here i have to go now cheerio, and cheerio. is there anything over here Oh, board up door. Another board up door. So maybe not. Oh, this one's open. And I can go back through this one. I'm gonna go check what this other door is. Requires key. Oh, empty suite. Okay. So maybe I can get that from hello hello I can't stop to chat just now mr. Ted and Penny oh I can just have it <laughs> okay sick wait what that wasn't it <laughs> I thought Items, misc. Oh, uh, well, it doesn't. Oh, wait, can I check it? Yes, I can. Oh, his sweet key. Okay. I see. I thought that was to the uh, guest thing. What else? He had a sniper rifle? Oh, yeah, sniper rifle. Okay. Bottles. Cups. Okay. What is this? Door. Desk is unlootable. Empty filing cabinets.
large whiskey bottle. Oh. That's right, Shady Hat. I got that for Snake and Perception. Because my other one was just Perception plus one, and it was a, uh... What do you call it? A baseball cap as well. Oh, I thought this had more, more effects than just Snake plus five. But I guess not. But I just kind of purchased it. I guess, to purchase it then. I don't really know. Oh, don't want to put that in there. Pre-war hat, perception plus one. Um, okay. I don't know who's... If this is someone's area, room, whatever. Two sinks. Oh, red zero. There we go. I'll just heal up then on these sinks. There. Man, I could have drank from the toilet. Same amount of health and no rads. Oh, I can't pick this up. What's in this room? Empty suite requires key. Oh. <laughs> did my... Oh, I was gonna say, did my game crash? Just open the door. You know, I'll leave it open. Because then I know where I have been. Dirty pre war spring outfit, agility plus one. Um, okay. Nope. Irving Chang. Detected. How do you know? Chang personal computer. Let me just wait. It's a nine twenty six AM. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry. Keep your hands to yourself. I am Comrade Cheng. Beloved leader of the people, shining servant of the community, how can I help you? It's nice to meet someone with a sense of civic duty. What? Who don't need leaders, just common sense. Uh, it's nice to meet someone with a sense of civic duty. Thanks, comrade. I'm sure you'll agree the people are only as strong as their leader. That's why I do my best to serve the community to the fullest. Speaking of service to the community, I don't suppose you are familiar with ghouls, are you? More importantly, how to kill them? I formed a committee to investigate the problem. <laughs> don't worry about those ghouls, comrade. You need to relax. Um... It will take more than a committee to deal with the problem. I think I can help. Well, I'm gonna try not to kill them. That's wonderful, comrade. Truly wonderful. Before you go ghoul hunting, talk to Gustavo. He might be able to help you. What do you think of the whole situation with the ghouls? I'm sure it will end in bloodshed. It's serious business, comrade. <laughs> Perhaps, comrade, the ghouls will join your committee, comrade. Are you mocking me, comrade? 
No. <laughs> Not trying to anyway. But I guess the in-game option uh, may be uh, intending that. There we go. Rebuilding proposal. We excel at destroying the old world and we excel at building a new one. Chairman Chang. Chairman Chang. 200 years ago, Chairman Chang led his armies to defeat the dis decadent rulers of this land. Now his humble descendant... Wait, what? Chairman Chang. Oh, okay. Comrade Chang shall lead its noble people to rebuild a brighter land in its place. By uniting to work together, we can eradicate the twin dangers of lawlessness and disease. With unified soldiers, we can cleanse the land of beasts and highwaymen. With organized farmers, we can overcome starvation and poverty. When competing villages are destroyed, all must unite under the glorious leadership of Comrade Chang in the Tenpenny Commune. Okay. Ooh, pencils. <laughs> there, I've lost karma like... 30 times or something? Oh. 17 times or something like that? I think I had maybe two or three pencils. So, I lost karma. You know, a little bit more. Maybe I can get a Jericho to go with me if I keep keep just randomly taking things. Which, I mean, I was probably going to do anyway. Can Security guard. I don't even remember the way out of here, to be honest. I think it was an elevator to get up here. If I'm not mistaken, yep. You watch yourself. You cause any more trouble and you'll be dead. Any more trouble? What did I do? Uh, I can take this. This better be important. I can help with your ghoul problem. Where are they hiding out? Really? You? You're welcome to give it a try. But don't come crying to me when you get hurt. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. Be careful. Roy seems damn close to turning zombie himself. I suppose you won't be doing this out of the kindness of your heart, hmm? How's 500 bottle caps sound? Payable upon termination of that damn ghoul, Roy Phillips, and all his followers. Well, I'll do the speech check. You want this problem resolved or not, you can spare more than that. Well, maybe you're right. It was something I was going to have to do eventually anyway. How about another 200 caps? And here, you can take this rifle and ammo. But you better not screw this up. Roy Phillips and his gang are somewhere in Warrington Station Metro Tunnels. They've barred the main entrance. Try going through the train yard. You got an armament supply, I want to do some trade. Here's what I got. Oh, kill them. Well, I don't want to kill them. I just want to talk to them. Um... Chinese assault rifle. 23, ooh. 
think I put mine away in the house, so I could actually just use this. Um, do I have anything? Okay, there's the repellent stick. Okay. I don't have any sniper rifle ammo, so I guess I can purchase some of that. Which takes 308, okay. Four. 108. Do I have any miscellaneous stuff? Uh, nope. I guess the cherry bombs I could sell, but they're also usable for crafting, so... Might just keep those. Ammo, items... Fire Lance? Oh, that's the... I think the alien... gun. Ooh, missiles. <laughs> Ooh, missiles. I think I'm... How many? Or how much, rather, for... One? 64. Um... Do four. What about a oh, what apparel? Arc light advanced radiation suit. Which I can also get in Megaton if I wanted. Um you know, I'm just gonna buy shotgun shells. Uh, maybe not that many shotgun shells. How about Yeah. Um, I think that'll be it, unless there's a weapon I don't have yet. Um, can get another laser rifle. What is mine like right now? Oh, okay. So mine is... Repaired. Laser pistol. Get another one of those to repair that. I have enough to do it, I guess. But I don't think there's anything in here that I don't already have. So there. X. A pleasure doing business with you. I have to go now. Watch your back. And don't trust that Roar Phillips for a second. I don't want to kill him. Hey. Well, well, what have we here? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Susan Lancaster. Perhaps we can become better acquainted in the near future? You bet. I like meeting new people. Me too. Especially rich, fine, young men. Hmm. Listen, you look like you can handle yourself. You survived out there in the wasteland getting here, after all. You ever have to deal with ghouls? Ghouls aren't so bad once you get to know them. <laughs> fine. Never mind. I thought you were a real man. Turns out you're just a scared little boy. These ghouls sure have people worked up, don't they? Are you going to do something about the problem, or not? I'll take care of these ghouls, stop worrying about it. But like, I don't want to do it with violence. I don't want to do the violence. I want to, uh, befriend. You're something else. Not like these other losers. What's it like living at the Tenpenny Tower? Beats living out there in the wasteland, trust me. 
See, I'm not like these other puffed-up fogies. I earned my way into privilege. I worked to get here. I have to go now. Yeah, goodbye. Okay. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna try to do it violently. I don't want to kill them. Ghoul our friend too. Yes? Hi! Michael Hawthorne. I'm Michael Hawthorne. Who are you? And more importantly, should I care? I'm glad to meet someone who doesn't want to talk my ear off. We should get a drink together. I hate when people talk while I'm drinking. Don't you? And there's plenty to drink about, or uh, talk about, isn't there? Everyone's always prattling on about the ghouls this and the ghouls that. Frankly, I'm getting fed up with all this ghoul talk. How about you? You know much about ghouls? Look, I know enough about ghouls not to hate them. Oh, I see. Well, I've never met one, so I wouldn't know. I just always thought, I guess I really don't know what I thought. I don't suppose you know much about those ghouls? We haven't discussed this already? Apparently, there's a pack of zombies living in the tunnels. Gustavo says he has it under control. On the bright side, it's given me another reason to hit the drink. I might be able to help deal with the problem. Yeah? Talk to Gustavo. He may wish to employ your assistance. What's it like living at the Tenpenny Tower? Well, it's a great place to live. If you don't mind ghouls breathing down your neck. I have to go now. Cheers! My name is Tiffany Ching. My miserable excuse for a husband is Comrade Irving Ching. And you can tell him I said so. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whatever. Is there something you want? If not, I'm busy telling my neighbors to ignore my husband and his silly committee to discuss the ghoul situation. You ever have to deal with ghouls before? Stop worrying about the ghouls. I wish I could. I get nightmares from time to time. You know anything about these ghouls? Living in the nearby tunnels. They scare me. Why doesn't somebody do something? It's only natural to be afraid of the unknown. Perhaps you're right, but I prefer to keep my nightmares a fantasy and not test my luck with the real thing. Thank you very much. Move along, please. Shakes. Welcome to the Federalist Lounge. I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. I love a drink, friend. I see, sir. Very well. May I pour you a drink? Tell me about Alistar Tenpenny. He is the right lord and master of Tenpenny Tower. Or at least that's what my files say. You know anything about those ghouls trying to get in here? Don't you worry about any such thing, sir. Care to wet your whistle? Okay. Any... Oh, okay. 
get into the terminal here if I can. removed. Servant. Mm. Hearing fortify causing tyranny. Oh. Nope. I try again. Lending options, dangers, reading, reading, wearing, reading, <laughs> landing. Nope. Uh, careful, servant. Tenants zero. Corners barrage. Just keep getting my karma. Melting special reading outside confirm. Um, Kedrick? I don't think I've ever seen this word before. Qualify. Wearing. Qualify. Uh, machine. Cutting. Fitting. <laughs> I'll get it, maybe. Eventually. Helpful. Believe. Reading. Oh. Sending. Forbade. Resides. Nope. Forbade. Have <laughs> veggies. Um. Carries. Setting. <laughs> um. Prisons. Serving. Hearing. Talking. Nope. Walking. Warning. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get this. Instant. <laughs> mm. 
Warring? Cantina? Heating? Heading? Heating? Heading? Uh... <laughs> getting? Hostile? Um... Roaming? Oh, zero. Bleeding? Warrior? Um... Remains? There. Oh, I leveled up. For more top of the line Robco products, see your local showroom. 10% holiday discount. Holiday price schedule <laughs> loaded. Set up 50% VIP discount. Reset price list. Okay. Oh. I guess I'll get my science skill up. Ooh, almost fifty. I don't know if I want to put everything into science. Get it up to 40, I guess. I'll just put two in there, eh, or actually... I can get speech up to, like, 70. Or... Can get lockpick up higher. Maybe, um... No, oh, I'll actually put into... Weapons. Just spread them out across... All three of these. And continue... Oh. Additional 15 points to the big gun skill. More equipment carry. Um... Five points to the small guns and repair skills. Um, you know what? Yeah, so I can repair my weapons higher than, than, than I can already now. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean I get a discount? A very special welcome to you, sir. 
I'm thirsty. I have an excellent selection of thirst quenchers. Stim pack. How many do I have actually? 27. Oh. If I sell, do I actually get 25? I actually do get 25, and that's how much they sell for, so... Okay. Well, I'll just buy the one. Just call me if you want that freshened. Have to go now. Cheers. Go out the door. Hello. Anthony Ling. Welcome to New Urban Apparel. I carry the finest in pre-war clothes. Hurry up, let's get you out of those old rags and into something fabulous. You really think you can improve my look? With my fashion sense and your bottle caps, there is no limit to what we can do for your image. I can't wait to get started. Tell me, tell me about Alistar Tenpenny. A very well-dressed gentleman when he bothers to get dressed. He hardly ever leaves his penthouse suite. What's it like living at Tenpenny Tower? Only those deserving to live here can afford it. And let me tell you, those who do live in style. I bet people are dying to live here. You're all lucky you can afford it. People are dying to get in here. Like those dirty ghouls. Or at least they should be dying. Security has got to act together. No, no, no. But Ghoul or friend. Has nothing to do with it. We deserve this. All of it. Not everyone is as smart, as pretty, or as wealthy as the cream of the crop. Don't blame me. Blame Mother Nature. Survival of the fittest. It's the game of life. We're the winners, and those ghouls, they are definitely losers. What do you have against ghouls, anyway? That's a silly question. What I have against ghouls is that they are ghouls. Are you worried about those ghouls? They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too stupid to understand. They live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. Security keeps shooting them, but they keep coming back. I might be able to solve this problem. Hmm. You're certainly welcome to try, aren't you? Talk to Chief Gustavo. I'd like to do business with you. I only carry the finest garments. Only the finest garments. Oh, okay. Armor. Um... Oh, and stim packs. Hey. Okay. I have to go now. There's no helping some people, is there? Take the pencils. They don't weigh anything, so... Why not? What? These aren't... Wait, in this?
Keep your hands to yourself. Very hard. Or no, hard. Average. Don't have enough science skill. Hey there! Herbert Daring Dashwood. Herbert Dashwood. Damn glad to meet you. Call me Daring. Everyone else does. Daring, but you had to earn that nickname, huh? Say nothing. Not very lively, are you? Perhaps you're just bored. You should go on an adventure. Nothing like a little bit of the unknown to motivate a person. That's what I did in my younger years. You know the GNR radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That's about me. Hell, I even had me a ghoul manservant. Let me ask you. You ever met a ghoul before? Sure, I've met some ghouls. They're just people trying to get by. Ah, you've already learned some wisdom in your youth. Congratulations. You mentioned something about GNR? Haven't you ever heard the radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That guy at the radio station put it together a few years ago. He did it in the style of those shows they had before the war. Came out pretty well. And it's all true. Rockopolis, Miss Chase, all of it. Of course, they do portray me as a bit of a chump. Argyle may have saved my hide more than once, but I had my moments. Ah, those were the days. Tell me about Argyle. Argyle was my manservant. Ah, but that's really just a fancy word for the guy who saves my sorry skin on a regular occasion. He was a ghoul, you see. Been around since before the war. We met when I stole his girlfriend back in 41. We'd been best friends ever since. We got separated a long time ago and never reunited. If you find Argyle out there somewhere, you be sure and tell me, okay? I bet you know a thing or two about these ghouls. Some ghouls moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. I've tried explaining to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters, but they don't seem to care. The intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger-happy protectors. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security. Sure, whatever you say, uh... Sure, whatever you say. Don't care? You might one day. Get into any adventures recently? What's it like living at the Tenpenny Tower? Well, until recently, the only danger you ever faced in this fine establishment was bumping into all the bloated egos floating around. But now there's a group of ghouls nearby. I've tried explaining that they don't all want to eat you, though some do, of course. Problem is, it's hard to tell which is which. Chief Gustavo has initiated a shoot-first-and-ask-later policy. If they're smart, they'll stay away. I have to go now. Go make a name for yourself! Okay. security guard I guess is that everyone that I can talk to in here oh yes <laughs> Dr. Banfield I'm off duty come back when uh, what the hell let's just get it over with I'm Dr. Banfield what do you need Tell me about Alistair Tenpenny. He's the landlord, although you hardly ever see him. I had to treat him once for bed sores, if you know what I mean. Wait, don't tell him I said that. 
What's it like living at Tenpenny Tower? People are healthy here. They eat well and have a strong roof over their head. It must be nice having patients who can pay their medical bills, huh? I'm not sure what you're trying to imply, but it's no crime to be paid for doing work. Tenpenny charges me rent too, you know. In a perfect world, health care would be free. But since you've traveled through the wastes out there, you know it's not a perfect world, is it? Take those ghouls out there. Tenpenny won't let them live here. Sure, it's a little sad, but that decision is keeping people in here safe and sound. Sure, they look a little weird, but they're not diseased vermin. Well, um, I guess I must confess, I've never examined a ghoul up close. You're right. I shouldn't make assumptions. Know much about these ghouls? Those ghouls, rather? My current theory is that the destructive disease of the ghoul condition will always eventually render him little more than a mindless killer. The proverbial wasteland zombie with a predilection for raw human flesh. They can't be cured. And there's nothing to alleviate the symptoms. All in all, it seems rather sad, really. I don't suppose you've consulted any ghouls for your little theory? Well, not exactly. But my colleagues have published papers. I suppose someone ought to verify their findings. Perhaps I'll do that. Who knows? I might even finally get published. Hey. I think I've talked to Margaret already, so I'm gonna go. I guess I'm gonna go see about the ghouls. <laughs> but I'm not gonna try to kill them. If I am able to uh, talk to them or whatever, then I'll do that. Hello. I'm not here for your entertainment. Am I allowed to leave? I'm not here for your entertainment. Okay. Oh, okay. I can just do it myself. Who's this? Oh. Please. Water. Help me. Water. Oh wait, do I have? Oh no, I don't. I put it back in the in the house in Megaton. Um Quests. Ten Penny Tower. Kill Roy Phillips and his followers. I don't want to do that. I don't want to kill them. I just want to talk to them. The question is, are they hostile? Like, without me threatening to kill them or anything. Or shooting at them. Because if so, then I'm just going to try to talk to him. But if not, well then... There, there isn't... Like, I don't know anything else to do, really. Oh. Is that a feral ghoul? Oh, I think so. Two bottle caps. Oh. Figured out where I was. Jeez. Forgot about bloody mess. Okay, now I go into the tunnel. What is that? Mine? No. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, light. Oh, radiation. Hmm. I'll just wait. The heck? Oh, okay. Just idle animation. Jeez. Okay. Carton of cigarettes. Bottle caps. There's another one. Oh wait. A bobby pin. Uh, another bobby pin. Ooh. Impact. Oh. They can open doors. Okay. Ten millimeter rounds. Oop. Flamer fuel, microfusion cell. Um, okay. Oop. Bobby pin, radex, and stim pack. Toolbox, scrap metal. Five, six round stim pack and assault rifle. Prepare this one. That's right, I do have slightly more repair skill now. Reload. And I'll actually use something with higher condition, I think. Laser pistol. Use the laser rifle, actually. I move. Another bottle cap. I didn't think it was going to go that far, but... Five millimeter round and a pencil. Ooh, conductors. Impact.
Oh boy, here they come. I value Bobby pins dirty water. Okay. One maybe maybe not laser rifle. Cause I might end up just using more stim packs by not using something. Um, else. Which does this do? 13. Just use this, because this does 20. Revolution starts here. away. Come over here. No funny business unless you want to get shot. Okay. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. I'm here to so I'm here to see Roy Phillips. Oh yeah. Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. So, what are you doing in the metro tunnels? I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. So tell me, what's it like being a ghoul? I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt. But we were making real progress. And those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. Gustavo hired me to kill you. Figures. He's Tenpenny's adorable lapdog, isn't he? So what's your angle in all this? Relax, it's just a warning, not a threat. I'm not go going to kill you. That's awfully decent of you. Even if we already knew those bigoted bastards wanted us dead. Talk to Roy Phillips. You might be able to help us out. I have to go now. Good luck. Watch it, will ya? Well, I guess I'll go talk to Roy Phillips. Where does this go? To the wasteland. So wait, then where do I... Guess I go somewhere else back here to talk to... Roy? Or downward, maybe, again? Well, I guess I'm gonna check this... This place first before I go. Ammunition box, 10 millimeter rounds. Munition box, 10 millimeter rounds. Oh, well, and I guess I was gonna use the submachine gun anyway, if there was anything more to kill, but there may not be any more ghouls, or well, feral ghouls this way. Down.
Ooh, another conductor. What's your conductor's worth? Like 30? Miscellaneous conductor. Oh yeah, 30. So I guess I'll just keep them unless I find something else. Roy Phillips. So what are you doing in the Mentro tunnels? Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. You're secure in these tunnels while I try to get into Tenpenny anyway. Ghouls aren't built for luxury and comfort, is that it? You think ghouls belong scurrying around in that dark, dank underbelly of the wasteland? You got a lot of nerve. It's not really any of my business, sorry I asked. You're right, it's none of your business. You best get out of here, kid, before something ugly happens. What do you want? So tell me, what's it like being a ghoul? You better choose your next words really carefully, cause you're starting to piss me off. I didn't mean to offend, I'm not prejudiced. Sure, whatever you say, you pretentious two-faced asshole. No really, I mean it. I don't care if you're ghoul or not. Uh-huh. Fine, whatever. Being a ghoul ain't anything worse than any other thing somebody's got to deal with. Like your stupidity, for example. You can't help it. You were born stupid, or dropped on your head as a kid. Either way, it ain't nothing you can change. So you deal with it. Let's talk about Tenpenny. What about it? Uh... What do you want? Gustavo hired me to kill you. Is that so? He isn't man enough to do it himself? Sends a boy to do his dirty work. You think you got what it takes? Relax, it's just a warning, not a threat. I'm not going to kill you. I see. That's smart of you. I'd lay you flat if you tried anything stupid. So don't. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes are in for a real treat soon enough. They can't keep us out of that tower forever. I might be able to get you in there. I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. Let me try talking to Tenpenny. Maybe he wouldn't mind you living there. Ha. Huh. Those snooty bitches probably can't stand living with each other, let alone with us. But by all means, try talking to Tenpenny if you like. But it won't work. Then we'll do it my way. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on him. I killed a bunch of crazy cool ghouls in the metro tunnels. So you killed a bunch of feral ghouls. That's supposed to sound impressive. I got no compassion left for those mindless freaks. But they were a nice deterrent keeping out smooth skinned bastards like yourself. I have to go now. Hurry. Hurry. Bessie Lynn. Oh, hello. I'm Bessie Lynn. I. I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I hope you know what you're doing. You can get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. Nice to meet you, Bessie. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I wouldn't want to see
see anyone get hurt, you must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone, but someone like you... Am I babbling again? Roy tells me I shouldn't do that. So, what are you doing in the metro tunnels? Roy is coming up with a plan to get us into that tower. Ten pennies. Says it's only a matter of time. He's strong like that. He never gives up. The kind of guy who makes things happen, Roy is. That's why the others follow him. Me, I just like the way he looks at me. Makes me feel pretty again. I'd go anywhere with him. So tell me, what's it like being a ghoul? Oh, well, it's not so bad, I guess. Once you get used to it. But it's not like before. I used to be pretty, you know. Everyone used to come around all the time. People stop wanting to be around you, though. When it starts to happen. When you start to change, I mean. Gustavo hired me to kill you. Please don't hurt me. Relax, it's just a warning, not a threat. I'm not going to kill you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just assumed. Well, most people would prefer if we ghouls didn't exist. If you want to help us, talk to Roy Phillips. I have to go now. Be good. Be good. Okay, well, I guess I'll go try. Hello. To talk to Tenpenny and see if they can, they can live there. Oh, is this the? Oh. Might be where the access door is to the tunnel. Jet. Two bottle caps. Rolling one. Ouch. Oh, out of ammo in that. Uh, combat shotgun again. Ouch. <laughs> oh no. Where's the last door that I went through at? Oh, well, I guess I go. Oh, it's back here. You there? Okay, I'm just gonna go talk to him. Again. What are you doing here? Okay. Oh wait, ammunition. That's all right. Well, I guess I'll get back there again. Oh, nope. It's out to the wasteland again. Wait a second. Okay, there we go. Through here. You know what? I think I'm going to do this preemptively and just use the combat shotgun this time.
<laughs> my weapon has broken. Okay. Okay, then. Oh, I have frag mines. One, at least. Ouch. You know what? Nah, actually, I'll keep that. Okay. the access tunnel. Just go talk to them again. Or well, okay. Oh, ooh, fission battery. Take that instead of the uh, conductors. Oh wait, what's I? Oh, okay. I already did take. The conductor, so then... What do I have to drop currently? Just drop two of the conductors. <laughs> um, okay. sensor modules. And those weigh two, so I can take two of them. And I'll drop a conductor. Because I can take two more of those then. want to take that police baton now I can repair the one with that what did I what did I pick up off the ground pressure cooker Coca-Cola. Okay. Oh, ten millimeter rounds. 
now I will talk to them again. Oh, hello. Well. Okay. Now talk to Roy. waiting for him. I mean to give it to him soon. Now get. Okay. Now I can go try to talk to them. Oh, I'll save now. Save over this one. was yeah the way back Did I get this? Yes, okay. Well, oh. more ghouls. Oh. I had this. like right now 53 how much does this take 90 I don't have the lockpick skill oh uh, the question is can I take mentats without being addicted I'll just do this and take mentats. Oh, okay, I can. So does that work for that? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Well then I'm just gonna load back so I don't use mentats. Guess I can keep that in mind then. Um, that. 
got a local map that way. So I can go through here. I think there was one feral ghoul out this way, so I'll just keep that in mind, I guess, when I'm going out. You know, I can just fast travel now. Was no. Oh. Give me a second. Keep your panties on. Well, what's the status on Roy Phillips and his gang? You having trouble with those ghouls? What can you tell me about the basement of Tenpenny Tower? You mean the generator room? What the hell do you need to know about that for? That area is strictly off limits. Just curious. There's an emergency entrance to the tunnels. You know, for when the bombs fell. We siphoned power from the metro grid to keep our generators running. If I promise not to touch anything, will you let me in? I've got the only key, and I ain't lending it to you. I lost it once and had to make a new one. Tenpenny practically bit my head off, so forget it. <laughs> what can you tell me about the basement of Tenpenny Tower? <laughs> You stay away from the generator room. Okay. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? I've met them, Roy Phillips and those other ghouls don't seem all that bad. Look kid, I don't care what you think about them. Unless Tenpenny says otherwise. They aren't allowed in here. End of story. Quit wasting my time. How do you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? Hell no. Tenpenny won't allow it. And I take my orders from him. What if Tenpenny will let the ghouls live here? He'd be out of his goddamn mind. But like I said, ultimately I work for him, so whatever he says goes. But I wouldn't like it. I have to go now. Watch your back, and don't trust that Roar Phillips for a second. Go talk to Tenpenny. Up the elevator I go. Oh, that's alright, I can just... Drink from the sink. Or better yet, from the toilet. Hey. <laughs> Very good. Where is it saying to go? It's saying to go down there again. I'm gonna go talk to. I'll well, see if Tenpenny is out here. Yep. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. What can you tell me about the basement? What? That area is strictly off limits can't have people fooling around with the terminal down there. They could shut off power and open the escape door. 
There are some ghouls who want to live here. What do you think about that? What? I do believe you've lost your mind. Ghouls living here? You're serious? What if the residents are okay with the with ghoul neighbors? <laughs> I don't suppose I'd mind terribly if ghouls were to live here. Huh. And it would be a good bit of sport hunting them down if they misbehaved. I dare say, though, you'll have a bit of trouble convincing certain residents to go along with your novel proposition. Tell you what, if you can convince Mr. and Mrs. Wellington, Mr. Ling, Ms. Montenegro, and Ms. Lancaster, those ghouls can live here. Have you seen me shoot? I'm quite proficient, if I do say so myself. Okay, so I convince convince the other residents and then the ghouls can live here. So I'll see. I'll see what I can do. If I can get them to to be okay with that. Security guard. Is anyone else up here? No. Oh. Watch your manners. Good to see you again, comrade. Do you know anything about the basement level, comrade? Only that they keep generators down there, and some kind of emergency escape tunnels. Oh, you know who you should talk to? Comrade Dashwood. He knows this place like the back of his hand. I didn't ask. What's it like living at Tenpenny Tower? Well, comrade, things are great. The best of the best have made a community here. Well, there is that problem with the ghouls. But I think it'll be solved soon enough. <laughs> How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? Ghouls wouldn't make the best of neighbors, comrade. Com <laughs> comrade, I've met the ghouls. They seem friendly enough. More than this lot. Well, perhaps you're right, comrade. Some of these folk have a few things to learn about camaraderie, that's for sure. Well, all right. I'm willing to give them a chance. Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? All right, comrade. We'll welcome them into the community. I have to go now. Until next time, comrade. Heck yeah. Um... Anybody else up here? Empty suite. Uh, in here. Nope. Okay. Well, then I will go down the elevator. Can I help you? Okay, security guard. I have that now. Oh, didn't see me do it. Uh, down the elevator I go. To go talk to the others. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. I don't even know what I don't even know what what you're referring to, pal. Carn of cigarettes. Oh. Please. Where did they go? Just 11 11 p.m. I'll just go back here and see if I can get this open. Oh, requires key. Okay. Well, then I will just wait. Uh, seven hours.
something delicious. Lydia Montenegro. Montenegro. Hello. Welcome to Boutique La Chic. I'm Lydia Montenegro, proprietor. Here you'll find only the best with a price tag you can boast about to your friends. This is a store? You wouldn't know true value if it slapped you in the face. What can you tell me about the basement? What are you talking about? You mean the basement of Tenpenny Tower? What a random question. Why should I know anything about a basement? Why don't you run off and find Gustavo? I'm sure he could help you find whatever it is you're looking for. No, 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 no. Back for the best? How would you feel about having a few, a few ghoul neighbors? You're being serious? That's out of the question. What an absurd notion. I've met, I've met these ghouls. They're civilized and pose no threat. I think you must have been out in the sun too long. Perhaps I could sell you a nice hat to keep your brain from frying? Speech 100%. This is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. You horrible little zombie lover. What right do you and your disgusting buddies have to push honest, hardworking, important people around like that? Where do you propose I live? Sure, you'll find something suitable, don't worry. Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't know that's what it meant. Uh, okay. Don't worry? Did you just step out of a vault? Haven't you seen what's out there? I'm doomed! And it's all your fault! Where will I go? Where will I go? Where will I go? Where... Where will I go? Well, I didn't mean to do that. But... Speech check. Gustavo. You take care of those ghouls yet? I'll just trade. Misc. Vision battery. Carton of cigarettes. Carton of cigarettes. Pre war money. Um. Oh. Sensor modules. And weapons. Um. Oh, well, my shotgun broke. Yeah, still have it, but it's broken now. Well. How many stim packs do I have? 23. Yeah, I'll just buy all of them. Weapons. Um. Could just buy more 5.56 five, and use an assault rifle. Thanks. I have to go now. It's dark in those tunnels. Shoot first and ask questions later. No, no. I know shoot. They are friend. Keep it short. I'm rather busy avoiding my husband. 
Do you know how I can get into the basement? <laughs> Maybe try talking to Mr. Tenpenny or Chief Gustavo. They're probably the ones who would know. Oh, I didn't ask this to... to them either. What's it like living at Tenpenny Tower? It's very clean and safe here. Well, mostly safe. They say those ghouls won't get in, but I don't know. How do you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? I don't know. I mean, they're all deformed and scary looking. I bet they're really mean, too. I've met these ghouls. They seem friendly enough. Well, you seem like you know what you're talking about. I guess I'd be willing to give it a try. I might not spend much time with them. And if they do anything stupid, I'm sure they'll get kicked out. Fine. It's okay. Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? I guess so. I have to go now. Bye now. Oh. Anthony Ling. I'm always glad to see a customer, especially if they are dressed so hideously. Seriously, we have to get you a new wardrobe. Do you know anything about the basement? I hear there are some tunnels underground for use in emergencies. Ask Gustavo. He's in charge of all those kinds of things. How do you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? You can't be serious. Ghouls aren't human. They live in filth. They eat their own babies. You're out of your right freaking mind. I've met these ghouls. They're civilized and pose no threat. Why would you hang out with dirty vermin like that? You enjoy sifting through feces? You know it's only a matter of time before they get hungry and eat you. You're crazy. Ghouls will never live in Tenpenny Tower. Oh. 75%. This is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. You'll regret this. I've spent years collecting all this fabulous merchandise. I won't stand for this. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I'm sure you'll find something suitable, don't worry. The only suitable place is Tenpenny Tower. Everywhere else stinks and caters to lowlife scum like you. I'll die out there. I just know it. I can smell the stink of ghoul on you. Hey there. Is there something I can do for you? You ever been to the basement? I hear there's an escape tunnel. Yeah. Supposedly there's some kind of emergency access to the metro tunnels. It'd have to be a pretty big emergency to get me down there, that's for sure. There's all kinds of gross things that live in those tunnels. Talk to Chief Gustavo if you want to know more. I think he's the only one that has a key. How do you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? I've come too far to share my digs with some droopy ghoul. I've met these ghouls, they aren't so bad. Well, if you don't mind their stink, then you should go squat with them in their dirty tunnels and leave us civilized people alone. Well, this is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. What if all your other neighbors agree? Well... This is happening, you're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. I'm done with the wasteland. And I've been everywhere else. There isn't anything better than this. Damn you and your ghouls. I'm sure you'll find something suitable, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'll talk to Tenpenny. I bet I can live in Burke's place. He's never around anyway. And when he does come back... I'll make sure he's fine with the new arrangement. I'll just send up for my food. I'll never even have to look at you or your ghoul buddies. Edgar, here. Mr. Hawthorne sure as a pickle, though, so it hasn't he? That man exists in a constant...
constant state of inebriation. I wonder what drives him to the bottle so. Morning. Right oh. Mil Millicent Edgar. Wellington. I'm talking to you. Edgar. Pay How attention when I'm talking Dear, to you. I live in Ten hey Penny Tower. I'm at the top of the world. <laughs> oh. Okay. Introductions are in order. I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. You may refer to me as Madam or My Lady Wellington. It's very nice to meet you, My Lady Wellington. You're better mannered than your apparent breeding would indicate. It is nice to make your acquaintance. You didn't happen to catch a glimpse of any ghouls on your way in here, did you? I'm not afraid of ghouls. That doesn't surprise me. You should talk to Gustavo. He might be able to use someone like you. <laughs> Do you know much about what's in the basement? What do you take me for? Some greasy engineer? All I know is that's where they make the electricity. Why don't you go bother Gustavo? I'm sure he can handle whatever it is you need in the basement. Who? Who? Zombie. I didn't know what that emoji was until I hovered over it. Are all young people ill-bred these days? Hear anything interesting about the ghouls? Again with the ghouls! It's all anyone will gossip about. I can't help thinking about them. Doing. How's it going, Grandmaster Farmer? Let's talk about something else. <laughs> Trying to talk, talk these people into uh, allowing the ghouls to live here. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? My neighbors might be out of their minds, but I am not. Those ghouls will not be living here. Speech 100%. This is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. Damn it. This can't be happening. Why do you think I came here in the first place? To get away from ghouls, monsters, and scum like you. Now I'll have to start all over again. Where will I go? I'm sure you'll find something suitable, don't worry. I already did. I hope one of your ghoul buddies kills you. You'll see. Edgar Wellington II. Edgar Wellington II. Have you met my wife, Millicent? Hold on. Who let you in here? Don't worry, I was let in at the front gate. <laughs> Very well. As long as security is aware of your presence. Can't be too careful these days. What with these ghouls and all. Gustavo says he has the situation well in order, but I wonder if he's really trying. Don't suppose you ran into any ghouls on your way in here? I don't consider ghouls to be a problem if that's what you're asking. Then you obviously don't know anything about ghouls. <laughs> ever been to the basement? Why would I ever go to the basement? Talk to Gustavo about such nonsense. Do you know anything useful about these ghouls? Those ghouls? There's a pack of zombies living nearby in some old tunnel. They asked to move in, naturally. They were told to go to hell. Gustavo's hired some additional goons. Seems to be working. Still makes one a bit fidgety having those loathsome creatures around. I wouldn't even want them as slaves. How do you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? I know you've been pressuring people into allowing ghouls to live here. 
do you think you are, harassing honest people like that? You should be ashamed of yourself. I certainly won't allow ghouls to live here. If this is happening, you're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. This is outrageous, preposterous, forced out by a bunch of dirty ghouls and some bleeding heart activist? Where will I live? How will I get there? I'm sure you'll find something suitable, don't worry. I found a comfortable place, but now I must leave. When I die, it will be on your head. Morning. Uh -huh. Don't think I've been up this hallway. Pack of cigarettes. Oh. Ah, hello. Good to see you. Okay. Let me see if I can find anyone else up here. Oh, I can take this. Here you go. Oh. Well, I guess I can stay upside down in the pot then. <laughs> safe. I don't have enough lock picking skill to get into it. Hope you're doing good. Oh yeah. Fighting the good fight I see. I'm trying to get get uh, the people to accept it. Yes? You remind me of myself. Back when I was a young adventurer. Do you know anything about the basement and emergency tunnels? Aha! Uh -huh. So you've been exploring the tower! Well done! Let's just say that Gustavo's not the only one with a key for the generator room. Are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting? Well, it does get a trifle bit boring around here. And to spice things up, I like to do a little... Exploring. Oh, I always put everything back. Well, almost everything. I occasionally keep a memento, like Gustavo's key to the generator room. Have you noticed how he turns a delightful shade of purple when he's angry? Well, kid, there are two keys floating around. Which one do you think you can nab without getting caught? Good luck. I don't want to play games. Can I please just borrow the key? I thought you were more interesting than that. Fine. But you better not get caught with that. How do you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? Well, I wouldn't mind. But they better be civilized. The tenants here are real uppity. And most wouldn't take kindly to ghouls living here. So you wouldn't mind if civilized ghouls move in? Like I said, it's fine by me. Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? Of course! I wonder if they've ever been to Underworld. Now there's an interesting vacation destination. I have to go now. Go make a name for yourself! Is that all of the people to convince? Don't even think of breaking into that. Choir's key. <laughs> oh. And I guess, I guess they don't have the key. You better not cause any more trouble. I 
exploration database. Hello, Daring. May the twilight of your life be filled with the same wonder and adventure as your youth. People. King Crag. Good old Craggy. King of Rockopolis. He offered Argyle and me shelter back in the summer of 48. Unfortunately, there was a little incident with his daughter, and we were exiled. We sought shelter again a couple years later, but Craggy didn't want to take kindly to us luring the slavers into his hidden underground city. That was the last time I ever saw Argyle, right after he saved my hide for the hundredth time. Miss Patel Penelope Chase. Miss Penelope Chase, two... Oh. She got what she deserved. What? My dearest destiny, Harlow Par Excellence and the proprietor of the Blue Di Destiny Brothel, one of the lovely loveliest women I've ever had the pleasure to pleasure. Sadly, she died from cholera in the summer of 49, an event that closed down the brothel forever. Argyle. The best manservant a guy could ask for. Tough oil and a hell of a good friend, even if he did smell like a bag of rotten meat. But what's a ghoul gonna do? The last time I saw Argyle was in Rockopolis decades ago. I know he's still out there somewhere. Armin Jerley, slaver leader and psychotic cannibal, circa 2250, see entry on Paradise Falls. Places, Paradise Falls. The most dangerous dump in the capital wasteland, the slavers there would have bought and sold anything with a pulse. They still will, from what I hear. Back in my day, they were more disorganized. Though their leader was a guy named Harmon Jerley, a psychotic son of a bitch who was rumored to eat the slavers he couldn't sell. Okay. Rockopolis. An underground city, not a bad accomplishment, all things considered, but their leader, King Crag, became too isolationist for his own good. Okay, so I accidentally led the slavers there and those bastards cleaned the place out. It was an honest mistake. Blue Destiny Brothel. The best damn whorehouse in the capital wasteland. Strong booze and soft women. It shut down in the summer of 49 when most of the ladies died from a cholera outbreak. Underworld. City of the Dead or Undead, as some would believe. Underworld was and is a settlement of ghouls established in an old art ex exhibit in the Museum of American History. Argyle and I used to go there quite a bit. I was even voted honorary ghoul back in 51. I really should go back and visit sometime. Megaton. A town built around an un undetonated atomic bomb, my kind of place. Megaton is pretty well fortified now, but back in my day it was even more ramshackle. Great place to grab a drink or abroad. I hear Moriarty even has his own place now. Guess that shouldn't surprise me. That guy had been playing the angle since the day he ended up in this country as a kid. Okay. Pests. Mirelurks. Goddamn walking crabs. Tough to kill, but pretty delicious afterwards. The outer carapace is hell to penetrate, though. Good thing their face isn't armored, and Argyle had such a good right jab. Feral ghouls. Ghouls gone bad. Their brains had rotted through so much they lost the ability to think straight. Argyle and I fought these... Hapless zombie bastards more times than I can count. I think he actually liked killing them. Saw it as some sort of revenge against God for his own situation or something. Rad scorpions. I've been a lot of places in my day and everywhere you find these damned rad scorpions. 
rumor was they descended from emperor scorpions which could find in pretty which you could find in pretty much any pet store in the country when bombs fell i guess that explains their population yo yeah, oh guy bears are the capital wastelands equivalent anyway you're not going to find one of these babies balancing on a big rubber ball though i can tell you that much they're Vicious as they come. Razor sharp claws, razor sharp teeth, nasty, nasty temperament. Robo brains. I have to admit, they don't. I've always been fascinated by these things. Such an ingenious creation. A robot powered by a brain and a sexy dame's voice. Of course, I always had to wonder were they human brains? Were they actually the brains of sexy dames? Or is this. Or is it all monkey brains in recordings? Anyway, I got hip by one of their mind blasts once. Hell of a headache for three days. Okay. Interessant. Um. Good to see you. Morning. Well, I think... I might be everybody to convince. Good to see you. Um... I guess I go back to the lobby hey, because hey. I can take the elevator up to uh ten penny then oh yeah. Charmed, I'm sure. Hmm, I think I'll go grab a bite to eat. Oh. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. <laughs> well what can I help you? Save again. Oh, I'm up here. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. The bigots have all been taken care of, so the ghouls can move in now, right? Well, if my tenants want ghoul neighbors, they can have them. Though the ghouls must pay and follow the rules like everyone else. You're a clever one, aren't you? I'm glad this situation has been resolved. It's a bit crass, but here's a little something for your troubles. 500 bottle caps added. Okay. Well then... Tell Roy Phillips the ghouls can move in. Your constant need to chatter is pressing on my optic nerve. Mm. Quite a tower you have here, Mr. Tenpenny. Some might say Tenpenny Tower is my crowning achievement. Here, wait. Let me see. Uh. No, I'm certainly rather sore about all of that, but certain sacrifices must be made. Besides, Burke assured me that bomb was quite unstable. I asked Burke to suggest they vacate. It was all a matter of time. Think of it as helping speed along the process of natural selection. Don't lose any sleep over it. Um, I have to go now. Righto, run along now. Thought I already had mentioned something to Mr. Tenpenny about that before, but I guess not. Okay. You watch yourself. You cause any more trouble, and you'll be dead. Okay. But what trouble have I caused? Not ready to take on those ghouls after all? Huh? You having trouble with those ghouls? I have to go now. Watch your back. And um, I'll see if I can still claim a reward even though I'm letting them in. Hey. Can do. 
am not able to fast travel. Okay, this just goes down another way into the metro tunnels. Discovered Warrington Station again. Carton of cigarettes. Taking care of things, you can move in now. I'll be damned. Really? Good job, kid. I was willing to unleash the pharaohs and kill all those bigots. Guess I don't have to now. Here's a little something for your troubles. It'll help you deal with our pharaoh brethren if you meet any. Ghoul mask added. I have to go now. Yeah, best get on your way. Well, I guess now they they can move in. So let's see what quests I have. Oh, okay. I can reprogram the robots if I get enough science skill. But I do not have enough currently, so So it is up here, I believe, yep, to the right. like that. I love this game, but damn, they made the subways generic and alike. Yeah. I have <laughs> Oh, it goes through the hat. Okay. Keep the eyeglasses on. Now I'll go back to Ten Penny Tower. Copy plus paste. The ghoul mask is great. Since you can always wear it. Yeah. Not just like a temporary quest item or anything. Go back to the Ten Penny Tower and talk to Gustavo. Give me a second. Keep your panties on. Oh, and I can just like, I'll just wait a few hours to see if the ghouls are here. Hey. Oh, 
Oh, no, even though you have a hat on, I mean, oh, okay. Oh, like you, can you wear it? Can you wear it with a helmet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. That's, that's, yep, that's, that's pretty good. Well, and Jerry can be a ghoul, too. The question is, do I get more dialogue options with it on? Ah, hello! Charm, I'm sure. Hey! You're the one with the ghoul friends! Well, I guess there are friends now, too. <laughs> What's it like living at Tenpenny Tower? It's swell. Those new neighbors of ours like to drink almost as much as I do. And boy, they have some real good stories. No dialogue, no one will even comment it ever, I don't think. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, you're leaving now? Okay. Bye-bye. Just put my my previous attire back on then. <laughs> Gonna take the eyeglasses off though actually. It shouldn't it should in real life be a conversation piece. Uh oh hey. Hey kid, I was wrong about you. Good job. What's it like living at Ten Penny Tower? It's weird, actually. I used to vacation here before the bombs dropped. Used to be a resort for the wealthy and powerful. I never thought I'd be the one fighting to get in here. Guess way back it used to be a plantation. Ironic, isn't it? I have to go now. Good luck. A conversation piece. Huh? Evening. Hello? Yes? Thanks for helping those ghouls. They really aren't so bad. What's it like living at Tenpenny Tower? Our new neighbors aren't so bad after all. And they have big appetites, so that's good for the cafe. Can I get something to eat? What are you in the mood for? Oh, that's right, I have 500 more caps now again. I can also just see if I have anything. Oh yeah, the carton of cigarettes, pack of cigarettes, and what else do I have? I don't think I have any other weapons or anything like that to sell. No. Except. Enjoy your meal. I have to go now. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Irving hey, time. comrade! Those ghouls seem like a real community, huh? Adversity must have made them strong! What's it like living at Tenpenny Tower? Things are going well, I'd say. We've all learned a thing or two about what makes a real community, don't you think, comrade? I have to go now. Yeah, see you! Ah, hello. Guess we can try living with the ghouls. Ah, hello. <laughs> see. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. Good to see you. Oh. Don't know how you did it. I'd never allow those zombies room and board. But as long as Ten Penny keeps paying me, I'll stay. Oh. I have to go now. So then, watch yourself. I don't get the reward from Gustavo because oh, no. I didn't kill them. But I wasn't planning on doing that. So. Nice to see you. Doing well, I hope. Bathrooms. Oh. 
bottle caps and the garbage can. My question is, why is it stealing if it's from the trash? <laughs> because was anyone else going to actually, you know, take it out of the trash? Apparel. Okay, these don't weigh anything, so I can just pick them all up anyway. And take them with me. Hard. Anything else in here? Now you know what, I could just go and sell all this. Oh, it weighs 10? Okay. Watch your manners. Yes. The question is, can I Did actually steal? just stealing ladies' underwear and <laughs> shit? I have to go now. Have a good one. Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. No, 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 no. I know do that. I mean, I took bottle caps out of the trash, so... Hey there! Where the heck... Where's the cafe? Okay, that's there. This is the cafe. Well, and there's nobody in here right now to sell to. Um... Where'd they go? Where are they at? I'll just go up here then and see if they're in the suites. Open up. Anybody inside? No. Open up. Anybody in here? No. How about this one? Yep. I have nothing to say to you except this. Watch your back. Okay. You'll get yours soon enough. Okay. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, where did... Where did Daring go? Good to see you. Evening. Guess I'll just go to Megaton to sell this stuff. Well, wait, where did the others go? I don't think I've been back here yet. Nor do I know if there's anything actually back here. I'm on duty, can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. Okay. Trash bin. Oh, this isn't stealing, but stealing out of the 
but taking out of the trash can is stealing. Ooh. Oh, that's right, I have the key, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh well, I guess I can be down here now. Mm, DCTA emergency access terminal locked, easy. Here go. Uh... Settled? Uh... Spanned? Decreed? Any more duds to remove? Try. Killing. Mission. Managed. Oh. Refuses, denying, receive, benefits, sermons, sparing, weapons. Um. Weapons? Oh. Ranking? Nope. Melting? Nope. Rangers, ranking, wanting, talents, um, Rangers, Oop. fencing, nope, bastion, there you go. New Amended Espionage Act 50 U.S.C. 31 and 32 prohibits unauthorized use subject to a fine of $500 and possible imprisonment. In case of emergency, activate containment doors to gain access to tunnel systems. Stay clear of the tracks and have a nice day. Open containment door. Opening. Failed relay. Oh. 
distress call to Z DCTA. Build to contact the DCTA security. Okay. Okay, well. And now that's open, I guess. I mean, where does that go to, though? <laughs> the question. I mean, I have the key to there, I guess. Is there another, like, basement door inside the tower? Ooh. Ah, hello. Ah, hello. Yes. What is my current quest right now? Just go back to reprogram the Robco facility mainframe and that is optional or I can just return to Moira, but I think I'm going to wait to do the optional. So then what else do I have? Find a home for Brian Wilkes. I can't have Brian Wilkes go to the Ten Penny Tower. Um. Huh. Well, I guess I'll do this. The Replicated Man. Okay, or not, there's no... <laughs> there is no marker, so... I'll just uh, go back to Megaton then. See if... Oh no wait, I just got my karma. Boy, do I breathe a lot easier knowing that thing is truly dead. I got my karma back up again, so maybe Jericho won't go with me. Still. Sledgehammer. Okay, I am allowed in there now, I guess. Because before it was saying that it was, that I, it was red, so, now it is not red. The door. Gonna see where I can sell this stuff. Go to the saloon first. Let's see. <laughs> I see a red door and I want it painted black. <laughs> yeah. Cut it out. I see a red door and I want it painted green, so it means I'm allowed. And back eco Oh wait. Talk to Gob. Hey there. Don't shoot. Please. Just tell me what you want. How about a drink? Anything for you, friend. Okay. <laughs> I can sell I don't want to sell the ghoul mask. But I can then sell it if I want to. Pre-war bonnet. Just get rid of those. Uh, I have two of these. I'm gonna repair the glasses. They don't weigh anything, so I can literally hold on to them as long as I want. Goodbye, Gob. 
Come back soon. Items. Peril. Repair. Oh. I don't have enough repair skill. Okay, well. Then I guess I'll just hey, sell them. Need a drink? Sure thing. See you soon, drunkie. <laughs> yeah, you need something? And no longer will I see a shade of deeper blue. I cannot foresee this happening to you. Unfortunately, because of copyright, I cannot play the song, but if it was not a, a thing to uh, be concerned about, I would just play the song. Easy. Oh, got locked again. Rolling Stones, it's a classic. Yeah. Oh, I'm back in this house again. Keep moving. Oh. Okay. Can I just keep Oh, lock picking the house? Does it just keep getting relocked? Just skip twenty four hours and see what happens again. They also did a uh, sympathy for the devil, right? Because that's another song that I like by them. If that is them. You see Nathan around anywhere? I have not seen Nathan around yet. Oh, uh oh, about to fall. Oh, right. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm not falling. Oh, okay. I see. I'm like. Let me see if I can find Walter. Very hard. Mr. Burke's house. Um... I'll actually wait till, like... How about... 10 a.m. or something. I'll see if they're in there. Behold, he is coming with the clouds. Who is this? Every eye shall be blind with his glory. Just Megaton Settler, okay. Hey, hey, nice to see you. Everything okay? You doing all right? You need something? Come on, talk to me. How's the addiction? Kicked it yet? Things are pretty hard, but it's getting better. Thanks again. You really talked some sense into me. Can I see what's on the menu? Sure thing, my man. Let's see. Oh, stim packs. Don't think I have anything to sell besides the scrap metal to Walter, wherever I, well, whenever I find Walter. But I guess I'll just take the stim packs. Come back anytime. See you soon. Oh no, wait, I have. Hey, hey, nice. I have Nuka Cola, I think. Yep. Come back anytime. See you soon. 
really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Requires a key. Which Leo does not have. Oh. Oh. Women and children of the earth. What about you? Do you have the key? And behold the power of Adam. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the words. I'm actually able to take the key without getting detected. Maybe not. Clinic. Oh. You came in here on your own power. Um. I need to buy medical supplies. Yeah. What do you need? Twenty one stim packs. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I can get one more spy all the stim packs. Fifty one. Fifty one stim packs. Okay, I'm good now. You done? Good. I have to go now. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, that's right. And water, I can get water. But... Go to Jericho's house. Just wait till later. Like, how about 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. I guess. Once it gets nine minutes. Oh, 10:54. 11.55 12.56am Where's the saloon? Over there Where is Jericho at? Oh, right there. What's up? Are you interested in joining up with me? No offense, kid. Nah. Okay. Karma is too high. And the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your it is so Good to see you again, dear child. Remember, the Church of the Children of Atom is always here for you. Salvation is attainable. I oh, can donate to the church. Help us, and we in turn help Megaton. How much would you like to donate? Donate ten caps. I appreciate the gesture, child. 
But you don't have enough caps. I don't have ten caps. I have to go now. Raise shower you, child. What's up? You want something? can I do currently can try f to find galaxy news radio and <laughs> go back to the main quest for now travel to super duper mart Until I get enough science and then I can go disable, or well, do whatever with the mainframe at the Robco, uh, facility. I didn't even think about it. I could have just not activated the terminal. Because <laughs> I think I activated the robots, so. I might inject myself with MedX and try to run through. You're playing the game right, or at least in a very good way. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to do everything before, you know, the end of the game. That's pretty much my... my thing. That's what I did with New Vegas once I replayed it. I basically just tried to get everything done before the end. Since, uh, the game doesn't continue after the ending, so... With this, I don't really know. So, I'm still going to try to do the same thing if I can. Uh, I'll just use this, actually. Where's the other one? One go. Ten millimeters, some machine gun. Use this instead. Buff out. Pistol. Can I repair my pistol further now? Yes, yes I can. actually have this out instead because it's silenced so data oh metro station I'll just <laughs> I'll fast travel that bit and then go down in door oh Metro security terminal, very easy. Dud removed. Oh, I see. It just turns them into dot dot dot. When you remove the duds. And I'll just look for that. And, oh, that's not a dud, but it's like brackets. Well, I guess not. Oh. Allowance replenished. Oh, well. I didn't use any um, attempts yet, anyway, so. Dud removed. Green frame grows track crass traps trash cross track oh. 
Green. Nope. Wrong. Nope. Look for duds to remove. Oh, this one. Removed. Notes. Nukes. Noted. Built. Safer. Gates. Hopes. Posed. Cover. Worse. Stays. Seen. Um. Cover? Nope. Gates? Nope. Scene? Nope. And again. Removed. Oh. Allowance replenished. Removed. Okay. Uh. Class. Um, cash, rocks, um, Jerry, Jerry is an option. <laughs> oh, Jerry was a terminal option. The heck? Well, I'm gonna choose Jerry, no matter what. It wasn't right, but... Oh, allowance replenished. Art? Ooh. Heels? Nope. Here's activate metro protection. Turn on metro escalators. Turn on metro lights. No. Metro lights. Failure. Call maintenance. Turn on metro escalators. Failure, call maintenance for service. Okay, activate metro protection. So what, is it gonna attack me? Metro security protocol initializing. Oh. Station security grid offline. Metro central not responding. Oh, there it goes. Level. Omega. Lethal force authorized. Okay, not attacking me, so that's fine. <laughs> metro ticket. Well, now I have three metro tickets. Bottle cap.
Oh. Oh, more rats. Look out. Oh. Commencing attack on hostile target. Move. Oh no. <laughs> oh, where's the door that comes in? Right here, nope. Um, oh. Okay. Well, rest in peace, Protectron. Pre-war money. Oh, there's another Metro ticket in here. Energy cell and scrap metal. Oh, that's right, I didn't find Walter to sell the scrap metal too. Turpentine. Um, oh. Oh, empty. Toolbox. Plunger and wonder glue. They open doors? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Weapons. Snipe rifle. Scoped 44 Magnum. Just get this out. Oh, it's locked. Alright, you know what? And shoot them from back there, so. Uh. No, I haven't used this yet, so. One more. Two more. I'll open this up now. Nope. Broke a bobby pin. No, no. Ooh. A few bottle caps. And back here, there was these ones. Pre-war money and human flesh. Ooh. Out of ammo in that, so I'll switch to... Assault rifle. Is the 
steam gauge assembly. I'm gonna leave those there because they weigh 10. So. Oh, I'll actually check. Oh, there goes some rad roaches. Do they attack? Super mutants are no. Arrow ghouls and super mutants fighting? Question mark. Seven bottle caps. Another one. Caution. Oh. Why? <laughs> it feels like the accuracy is better without aiming. So I'm just not going to aim anymore. Unless I have a scoped weapon. So I think I go up there. Empty. Open ticket booth door. Okay. We'll go down this hallway. There they go. Bottle cap and Nuka Cola. Well, eight bottle caps and Nuka Cola. And out I go. Chevy Chase North. Heck, oh, okay. I ow. I'm just gonna. <laughs> what was that? That looked like something was thrown. Unless it was just a piece of the uh, concrete. Thirty-two caliber round hunting rifle. Can I repair my hunting rifle further? Yes. There. Could have gone in there if I wanted to. Wait, over there? Look, I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. 
The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News radio building, and we're headed there to back them up. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. I didn't know this place was so dangerous. You've been living under a rock? This is DC. The entire city is crawling with super mutants. Now, if you'll excuse me. So you guys looking for new recruits? That's a negative. We've got too many local conscripts as it is. Most are undertrained and too damn trigger happy for their own good. Our very own initiate Redden is a sterling example. Who did you say you were again? The name's Sarah Lyons, Sentinel and Squad Commander of the Lyons Pride. We're with the Brotherhood of Steel. We do our best to hold back the super mutants in this area, but when civilians stumble into our sights, that gets a bit difficult, doesn't it? You mentioned something about Galaxy News Radio? There aren't a lot of safe places in the ruins right now, but the Galaxy News Radio building is sort of our port in the storm. Unfortunately, the building's been hit pretty hard lately. We're their backup. So if there are no more questions, we really need to move out. I have to go now. Watch yourself out there. Okay. On me. Doing fine. Just follow my lead. No dead heroes today, okay? You don't need to worry. We're the best outfit in the whole Brotherhood of Steel. What's um... Oh. Energy cell, laser pistol, and power armor. Well, I'll repair the laser pistol more then. No offense, but I'm a little busy saving your ass right now. All clear, Sentinel. Five mutants released from their torment, the rest are keeping their heads down. Good. Jennings? Welcome, friend. Negative. A new recruit? Just a stray we picked up. The one that blundered into the uglies over on 42nd. Welcome! Alright, it's the usual drill. Redden, you just do whatever Paladin Vargas says and keep your mouth shut. Yes, ma'am. Okay. No offense, but I'm a little busy saving your ass right now. Item two. Oh, there goes my arm. Oh, well, let me uh, put my arm back on. And um, what do I have to fight? I have the sniper rifle. Oh, I have this machine gun, that's right. Oh! My arm! Oh, not my arm, my... <laughs> okay, my torso! Items. Um. Okay. Oh. Two arms, bro. Two arms. Just me. Oh. Two assault rifles. Take this one. Assault rifle. Oh, nope. 
don't have enough skill to do so. I'll just follow them. <laughs> Empty. Okay. You know what? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, okay, I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> and that was my missiles. <laughs> Chinese assault rifle. There. Come on, lion's fried meat. Me and you know it. That Citadel guard duty is such bullshit. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Stand down. They're not oh. You're wasting ammo. Ah, oh, come on. We just kicked their asses. We need to sweep the area. You think those were all the uglies in DC? You take the east side. I'll go west. Okay, okay. Once we're inside, then we'll celebrate. Now you're talking. Whoa. Oh, I could have saved my rockets. <laughs> my missiles, rather. Um, yeah, uh... Well, I'll get the sniper rifle out. Ho -ho! Ho -ho, here it comes! Oh! -ho! Not able to get us up here. Jeez. It's like one hitting them. <laughs> oh almost out of sniper ammo. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Sniper rifle is almost broken. <laughs> Pull this out again. <laughs> A big boy. <laughs> yeah. It's not your fault, Vargas. Redden was good enough for the pride, and she proved it here today. Yeah, I know. God damn it. When we get back to the Citadel, I'll talk to the scribes. Let it be chronicled that Paladin Redden passed her test. Come on. Let's see if they've got anything to drink in this dump. Okay. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, 
The area is secure, so you are free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. I'm sorry about Redden. She died well. In the end, that's all that really matters. Sure you're not looking for recruits? I'm sure. You can handle yourself, I'll give you that. But let's not get carried away. Anything else you can tell me about GNR? Well, the Brotherhood needed a secure outpost, and the guy who runs the radio station needed to not get his head ripped off by super mutants. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Three Dog is the man in charge. He keeps that signal broadcasting pretty much single-handedly. He's, um, interesting. I'll give him that much. I have to go now. Watch yourself out there. Go away. Welcome, friend. My brothers may be gruff, but they will lay down their lives for you. Okay. Looks like it's all clear. Unlocking outer doors. Welcome to the GNR garrison. That was a hell of a fight. Nice work. Night Dillon. Pleased to meet you. I'm Night Dillon. If there's anything you need here, I'll try and help. What's this building for? You got a pip boy. Tune into Galaxy News Radio and listen. It's the only radio station in the Capital Wasteland that really tells it like it is. I need to speak to Three Dog. Oh, go right on up. You were expected. <laughs> I need to speak to Three Dog. Right upstairs. I need to speak to Three Dog, okay. I need to speak to Three Dog. He's waiting for you. Okay, that was all the dialogue for that. Stay out of our way and everything will be fine. Knight Finley at your service. What can I do for you? What's this building for? This is Galaxy News Radio. The last free voice of the people of the Wasteland. The Brotherhood of Steel makes sure of that. I have to go now. Okay. Just make sure not to interfere with our operations. Do I have... voice all the way? Oh. I don't have voice all the way up. I didn't realize that. Well. Put effects slightly down. Galaxy News Radio Outpost. I'm Sergeant Wilkes, and I'm in charge here. What brings you into the DC area? What's this building for? This is the last free radio station in the entire DC area. The rest of the airwaves are clotted up with enclave propaganda. I wouldn't believe a word they say anywhere else. Free voice of the people, what does that mean? Well, the only other station that comes through nice and clear on the radio is the Enclave station. All they spew is a bunch of nonsense and propaganda. Galaxy News Radio reports on what's really happening. What's the Brotherhood doing here? We have a relationship with the station here. We stay in this reinforced structure and protect it from the super mutants. This is the only real safe spot in the ruins of DC. The rest of the place is crawling with those walking abominations. It's nice to have a port in the storm, you know? I've got to go now. Sure, good luck to you. I guess I'll look for three dog then. Oops, sensor modules. Combat armor can possibly repair mine then. Uh, combat knife. Empty. 
Um. And. Oh, there's more foot lockers, but they're empty as well. So I'll go out. That should give the boys at Lost Hills something to think about. Sorry, I'm on guard duty. Wouldn't want this place to get overrun with super mutants. Hail. Bye. Damn. We lost Redden. Hail. Later. Nope. GNR Studios. Well, I will save here. Right here. Empty. 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 Oop. Pack cigarettes. Three dog. The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. And you, well, I know who you are. Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old Dan, huh? Met him already. You know my father, is he here? Please, I've been looking for him. Hey, hey, one thing at a time. Nah, your old man ain't here. Not anymore. He heard old Three Dog on the radio. Figured I knew what was what out here in the Capital Wasteland. And he was right. So I filled the old man in. But he split. Looks like I've got my way of contributing to the good fight, and he's got his own. Good fight. Oh, the good fight. What's that all about? Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the Capital Wasteland. All that brick and rock. A whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day. Fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. They all want a slice of the pie, too. And aim to take it by force. So what's this about the good fight? Patience, patience. Three dogs like a minstrel. Give him some time in your ear and he'll soothe the soul. So back to the tale. I fight the good fight with GNR as my gun. The truth goes out across the Capital Wasteland, and with it, the word about the good fight. I understand your fight, but I still need to find my dad. Sorry. I'm so used to talking to an audience that can't answer, I just assume you want to hear my voice all the time. So, you want to know where your dad is? Fair enough. We got one rule in the good fight, though. You want help, you gotta contribute. If you know anything that could help me find my dad, please just tell me. You wanna find your dad, and it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. He was here at Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more, you're gonna have to contribute to the good fight. Oh, speech 50%. Uh, this is all a bit much for me. Let me get back to you. Wow, I thought you were in a rush. Whatever, man. Chat me up when you're ready. Okay. Speech. Is there anything that I can get? 
my speech up with. I could get a drink aid. Um, yeah. Oh. Sensor module. Just impacts. Pack of cigarettes. Dart. Whiskey. Maybe, maybe the whiskey. Scrap metal. Scrap metal, scrap metal. Pen, more whiskey. Well, I'll drink the whiskey, I guess. Intelligence minus one, strength plus one. So, you ready to make a deal? Or are you just trying to get another look at my strikingly handsome face? <laughs> 56%. Well, then, I'll just save right here and try it three dog yeah so you're ready to make a deal okay look three dog if i find my dad maybe he can help with the good fight well your dad is some sort of scientist type some kind of egghead or something you really think if you find him he'd help our cause I know you will. He's always talked about doing what's right. When your dad passed through here, I spent a good long time talking to him about all kinds of stuff. He mentioned some scientific mumbo-jumbo, which didn't make much sense to me. Hmm. Something about a Project Purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City. Then, he left in a hurry. Rivet City, where's that? You've never heard of Rivet City? Wow. Just... Wow. Well, a whole bunch of eggheads got together and turned a beached aircraft carrier into a town. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Just follow the river south from here. There's no way you can miss it. Okay. On I go to Rivet City. Save right here, then. <laughs> oh. happened up there. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna do that then.
There it goes. Bottle caps. 308 caliber rounds and a wrench. Eh, leave the wrench. Mall outpost. Metro security terminal. See if I can get into this one. That would remove. removed okay cloth oh. booth blend Dud removed. Dud removed. Opens. Um. Allowance replenished. That removed. That removed. It's not a... Maybe I already did that one. Um, taunt. Alert. Opens. Cages. Cares. Sizes. Um, taunt. Opens. Scant. And I will try again. Cares. Black. Nope. Oh. Um. Beast. Nope. Another dud. James, human, James, I 
Um, races. Nope. James. Saves. Caves. Lane. Tracked. Grasp. Rules. Lever. Ruler? No. Cover. World. Place Freeze Reef Fried Years, hours, heads, bones. Um, that removed. That removed. That removed. And some booty. Tried. Cares. Quiet. Calls. Seals. Aware. Offer 
Yeah. Saved. Raged. Through the door. Ow. Please, no. Jeez. Right grenade. Five six bottle cap assault rifle. Oh, what did I just pick up otherwise? I picked up something miscellaneous. Medical brace. Okay. Where does this go to? Back cigarettes. Aha. Uh -huh. Darts, flamer fuel, stem packs. <sighs> Get these all to twenty five at least, and then this I guess I'll get to thirty, and science I'll get to at least fifty. Now, I'll put another point into speech. And... Let me see. Did I get any more of these to add on? Impartial mediation. With the impartial mediation perk, you gain an extra 30 points to speech, so... So long as you may know oh, neutral karma level. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. With the finesse perk, you have a higher chance to score a critical hit on an opponent in combat, equivalent to 5 extra points of luck. Here and now. The here and now perk immediately grants an additional experience level complete with all the advantages that brings. I'll do that then. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Speech up to 65 and... 17 more to assign. Um. Put 10 more into science. And, uh. Barter, I'll put 5 into. 
two. Two points. I'll put in two... Uh, put into lockpick, because eventually, when I get that up, then I can open more stuff. friend. At the first rank of this perk, animals simply won't attack. At the second rank, they will actually come to your aid in combat, but never against another animal. This perk fixed the dog, Yaogai, Mole Rat, and Brahmin. Yeah, I'll do animal friend, actually, if there's nothing else that... I can do. The child at heart perk greatly improves your interactions with children, usually in the form of unique dialogue choices. If there's nothing else to choose next time that I like, then I'm gonna do that one probably. First aid box. Oh, there's a blood pack in there. Oh, right away. Dirty water, jet, stim pack, medex, psycho. Did you select animal friend? Yes, yes I did. I did select animal friend. <laughs> Face palms. Why? <laughs> I want to be animal friend. Because animal are friend. Huh? No, no, it might be good. I don't know. Ah! Assault rifle. Oh! I would have taken commando, finesse, or gunslinger. Anything that makes you better in combat right away. Ah. But I think you should follow your gut and test the perks out. That's what I used in New Vegas because of the, uh, the animals. Her control system. Cause then I can just like walk past them and they won't attack me. Like I think my lurks won't attack me either, so I could just go back I can go back to the conga line of my lurks back in the uh the m memorial or whatever it is. Oh back to this again. Try to access the turret control system. Patrolled. Concerned. Renovated. Well. Will any of these re reset my choices? No. Okay. Try again. Um... Anything to remove? Yep. Dud removed. Right there's one, so I'll just find one of these that I think it could be exchanged. Now let me see if this will reset. Yep, 
replenished. Receiving. Uh, occasions. Guarding. Apartment. Had removed. Ooh. Allowance replenished though, okay. Acquiring. Um. Amplifies. Nope. Authority, including Convinces, initiates, convinced, listening, requiring, secretive, moonshine. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna get get this. Inventors operating. Important. Resources. Convicted. Convicted. Nope. I'm gonna go cook, thanks for a lot for the stream. Yep. <laughs> Might drop in later if you're still on when I get back. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Oh! I don't know what I'm doing yet. I might be getting... Getting off stream in a little bit. So... But I'll see. I'm just gonna break it because trying to get into the terminal is fun times. This 
But uh, yeah, see you later then, Grandmaster Farmer. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the stream. Ooh. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh. I'll take a rifle. shall proceed on. <laughs> Eight bottle caps, shotgun shell, sawed off shotgun. Can I repair the combat shotgun with the sawed off shotgun? No. Well, then I will... Let me see. Combat shotgun. Doesn't tell me the damage that it does when it is actually functional, so I'll just go with the salt off shotgun then for now. Well, actually I don't have the carrying capacity, so uh maybe not. Oh, when I get back to Megaton, I think I'm gonna... I don't know, actually... Because I do find 5mm rounds sometimes, but... Uh, I think I find Flamer Fuel more often than 5mm, so I might just bring the minigun back to Megaton and put it away. Two carry weight. How much does this pistol weigh? Two. Okay, well then I guess I'll... I'll try it, I guess, because I have not yet. <laughs> tink. Tink. Tink, tink, tink. Think. Utility game. Bottle cap. Pack of cigarettes. Ouch. Didn't know those were down here. Bottle cap. Ooh. I know I could shoot it that fast. Jeez. Ah. Please no attack me. Oh, I could put on the ghoul mask aid. But then it also can get damaged from being shot, so I don't know. Five six. That's all right, full bud. Oh. Ammo box. Ten millimeter rounds. Five five six rounds. And more five five six. Frag grenade. Frag grenade. It's ten pack. It's ten pack. Now I'm carrying. 
over. Um, just drop the scrap metal. Chinese assault rifle for now. Bottle caps. Oh. No more, please. Five bottle caps. symbol. Three oh eight and five millimeter. Well speaking of finding five millimeter every once in a while. Just found some, but Ooh. Vicious dog. No no no. Dog friend. If only I could pet. Uh. Oh. Two bobby pins and shotgun shells. Museum station. Oh. Metro ticket and railway spikes. of ammo in that, so... Oh, just pull out the frag grenades. Oh. and a pack of cigarettes. Darts. Grognak the Barbarian, which I'm gonna read right now, so I'm not carrying it for a wait. the thing if they became not hostile I wouldn't I wouldn't kill them but there's the chance that they become hostile again after they say that they're sorry and they'll stop like attacking me but like if they actually did stop then I wouldn't be doing this but Oh, the one had a combat shotgun, so I'll take that and repair mine. 
five, five, six round. Okay. Combat shotgun, five, five, six round shotgun shells. Uh, okay. Prepare. And there. Now my shotgun is available again. Yeah, it does 28 damage, so... Four more damage than the sawed-off shotgun. Just keep using this until its condition is reduced. Scotch and wine. Nothing in that metal box. Tink, 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 tink. I'll watch the floor for mines. do this if they didn't attack me again, but there's the chance that they do, so... Ooh! Aid. Stim pack, stim pack, stim pack, stim pack. Ooh, fist fighting me. Weapons... Ripper. Combat shotgun, pack of cigarettes, and shotgun shells. Repair mine again. Twenty-nine damage now. We'll go back to the laser rifle. Tink 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 Metal gate to the wall. Oh, to the mall, not the wall. To the mall. Uh oh. I think it crashed. Oh, nope. Never mind. I was about to say, if it did, I was <laughs> gonna be done, but it did not. You have... oh, you have frag grenade. That's what I'm gonna throw over there, then. I think that got over there. Ho ho! <laughs> I'm not equipped. Ooh. You know what? No more, please. You know what? You know what? No, I'm, I'm, I think I'm still just gonna end it here. <laughs> I'm gonna save at this entrance to the mall. 
area and uh yeah. Save over this. Uh yeah, I'll save over that. Okay. <sighs> That'll be it for now. But uh anyway. To anyone who who is watching, hope you hope you enjoyed and uh um not sure when I'll do another stream of any sort, but that that is uh that is that. But anyway, uh, guess I'll <laughs> I could run the stream credits, but it's just gonna say what is it gonna say? Moderators, Mubot. <laughs> All right. Well. Anyway, that is the end of the stream. Uh, I go now, and uh, yeah, goodbye.